The ravens and the panthers, beasts of the night, next on Quiz Kids. It's the Bay Area Quiz Kids. Brought to you by the San Mateo Credit Union. And now, the best host on the West Coast, Brad Friedman. Thank you, everybody. Every week I'm challenged to come up with a good opening, and it doesn't always work. But we still have these two wonderful teams here today. Over here we have the Sequoia Ravens. <laughs> and they're taking on the Burlingame Panthers. Good luck to both teams. Here's your first toss-up question. About 40% of Caucasians have type A blood. About another 40% have which type that is recessive to A? Clara. B? No, you can steal. A, B. No, it's O. O. Here's your next toss-up. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place. Was Lincoln's reference to what battle uh, Yes, Elliot. Gettysburg. That is right. For 25 points, a literal translation of Lincoln's words, government of the people, by the people, and for the people, is part of the 1958 constitution of what European republic? Um, Germany. Liberté, égalité, fraternité. France. Let's take a break. And let's meet the teams. Over here we have the Sequoia Ravens and Clara McAvoy, freshmen. Um, I understand we're going to start a new group, national group, called Extracurriculars Anonymous <laughs> for those students that can't say no to any extracurricular activity. How many extracurricular activities are you involved with, with right now as a freshman? Um, around nine or ten. Nine or ten. You see those people over there in the seats? That's your mother and your father. And they would just have a little message from me to you. Come home, Clara. <laughs> Come home. One night. Okay? Michael Yu, I've been watching you. I watched you in the last game. And every time the sisters spoke, you gave a look like... <laughs> I understand you've known them for a long time. Yes, we've actually attended the same school for quite a while. Yes? Uh, we used to go to North Star Academy. So you were a little, little tiny, Michael, and little tiny. Indeed. Okay. And uh, anything you want to say to them about their, your friendship with them after all these years? No comment. No comment. All right. <laughs> That'll get you a date to the formal. Marissa. Marissa McAvoy, a junior, much older and wiser than all these people, and a big fan of young adult literature. Yeah. Okay, so kind of. you like the dystopian stuff. Yeah. Uh, what's, your, what's the best book you read last year in YA? Oh, uh, I, I can't choose a best book. That's like sacrilege. So are there uh, like 10 <laughs> books on your counter? Yeah, well, I'd go buy more books than I just, you know, reread Harry hey, Potter. Hey, I love them too. Classic. So, But we both agree that The Fault in Our Stars was one of the best of the last oh, year. Oh, yes, it's fabulous. Excellent. All right, let's say hi to the Burlingame High School Panthers and Jacob Cohen. You guys are all sophomores, and uh, you are part of the Knowledge Masters Club, Jacob. Uh, yeah, we all created a club for our school, and uh, it's called Knowledge Masters, where we kind of just hang out and play games on Sporkle and uh, do, ra like, with random facts. And... Oh, cool. Wonderful. Probably helps you with this game, too. And Elliot Kane, um, when you were in fifth grade, you memorized the periodic table. That's right. Okay? So we're not doing so well right here. Why don't you just go ahead and do that uh, for the rest of the game, and every one you get correct, I'll give Sequoia a point. <laughs> mm, I could do it. But I won't. <laughs> no, it would take too long. It would take too long. It's true. Drew Ehrlich. Um, you take part in a uh, tech crew for your drama productions at school. Yes. And you like to do lights? Yes. Up on the spotlight, or do you run lights on the light board? What do you like to do? Uh, I've done both. What was the last production at Burlingame that you worked on? Uh, is Radium Girls, which is uh, in the second week of March, and it's a very depressing drama. A very depressing drama. Hopefully your lights will reflect that sadness. <laughs> Good for you. All right, you guys, let's get some points on the board. Here is your next toss-up question. A republic named after this lake merged with offshore islands to create the nation of Tanzania in 1964. What is this lake in Africa's Great Rift Valley, the second deepest lake? Clara. Lake Victoria? No. The second deepest lake in the world. Panthers, you could talk it over, see if you can come up with the right answer. Lake Edward. Um, lake Edward. It's Lake Tanganyika. <laughs> Which, if nothing else, is fun to say. So you guys should remind, remember that, because it's a fun, fun name. 
It was the site of the funerals of Presidents Eisenhower, Reagan, and Ford, which church in Washington, D.C. is also known as the National House of Prayer. It's the National Cathedral in Washington, D.C. Next toss-up. This diatonic scale is equivalent to the Ionian mode. There are no sharps or flats when C is the tonic of what kind of scale? <laughs> Jacob. Maybe diatonic? Nope. You can steal, Mr. I played piano for nine years. <laughs> we haven't gone over this yet. Okay. You um, don't know what this is yet? Okay. It's kind of rare. Can you repeat the question? No. <laughs> oh. Something about diatonic. Just guess. Well, it's the major scale, <laughs> like that My basic mind. scale. Oh. Okay, bum, 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 bum. Okay. Next, toss up. Until last summer, it had been out of the news for a few years. Which hemorrhagic fever is named for a river valley in the Congo? Drew. Ebola? Yes. <laughs> for 25 points, one type of Ebola is named for what name, is named for what name used by the Congo between 1965 and 1997? Belgian Congo? <laughs> no, in, in my fear of Ebola, I did not know there were other varieties, one of which is known as Zaire. <laughs> Next toss up. These structures contact forms, in, I'm sorry, these structures contact form involves sharing of mass between the two components. What are these systems in which two stars orbit around their common center of mass? Michael. Binary. That is right. For 25 points, the closest star system to Earth is what binary system located about 4.4 light years away? Serious? No, I learned this when I used to watch Lost in Space, which was a great show. Alpha Centauri. Uh. Next toss up. It was considered to be an early proto union of skilled workers. In 1869, Uriah Stevens formed what organization? Elliot. National Trade Union? <laughs> no, sir. You can steal if you come up with the right answer. Stevenson? 69? Yes. Probably some railroad thing? Michael. No, I don't know. We don't the, know. the Knights no of Labor. Here's your next toss up. Many Viking inscriptions were written in the Futhark version of what family of Germanic alphabets? <laughs> Elliot. Norse. No. You can steal. <laughs> Scandinavian? Runes. Runes. Next toss up. What group of elements fill all of their valence shells without forming compounds with other? Clara. Noble gases? That is right. For 25 points, modern dirigibles are filled with which lightest of the noble gases? Helium? Helium is correct. <laughs> For 50 points, the name helium comes from the fact that it was first discovered by spectral analysis of what heavenly body? The sun? You got 50 points! And we, and we have a score of 60 for Sequoia, 20 for Burlingame. We'll be right back with the final round of this game. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. Let's give a big hand to the coaches for both our teams. First from Sequoia, Mr. Tim Spence. And from Burlingame, Mr. Dave Sullivan. Thank you, gentlemen, so much for all you do. All right. The score is 60 to 20. Burlingame, you get first choice. The questions, all clues will be worth 30 points. And you just need two to get the lead from a Sequoia. But you want to get as many right as you can so that you can make them work for it. The three categories today are Pioneer Women, The Great American Novel, and Fruit Stand. Which category would you like? Fruit stands. Fruit stand. All of these answer contain the name of a fruit in them. Okay? This is the company headed by Tim Cook. Apple. Apple. Yeah. Right. This is the what we call a New Zealander. It's their nickname. Kiwi. Kiwi. That is right. It's the common name for either calcium oxide or calcium hydroxide. Lime. That is right. This is the title character of a Mark Twain novel. Huckleberry. Yeah, Huckleberry. Huckleberry. Huckleberry is correct. 
This is a defective or subpar car. Oh, lemon. Yeah, you don't want to buy a lemon. This is the giant fruit owned by James Trotter in a Raoul Dahl novel. Peach. That is right. If you get this one correct, you've gotten all seven right. It's a South African river named for the Dutch royal house. Orange. You got them all right. Sequoia, you need six correct answers to get this right. You are going to work for it. Which category would you like, Pioneer Women or The Great American Novel? We're going to go with The Great American Novel. Okay. I'll name a Great American Novel, and you name the author. Oh. Okay? okay. <laughs> to Kill a Mockingbird. Harper Lee. That is right. On the Road. Michael? Hemingway? No, it's Jack Kerouac. You need to get all the rest of these correct, okay? okay? <laughs> Catch 22. We don't have an answer. It's Joseph Heller. Burlingame High School wins the game. <laughs> Congratulations to you. Thank you, both teams. We'll be right back with another uh, match. Don't go away. Welcome back. We have five sophomores and a senior, and we have two great teams. Let's met, welcome them now the Valley Christian High School Warriors. And they're taking on the Homestead High School Mustangs. Welcome, gentlemen. Let's get started right away with your first toss-up question. Good luck. He wrote a play called The Mousetrap. Which Shakespeare character did this in his effort to catch the conscience of the king? Brandon. King Lear. No. You guys can steal. Talk it over. Hamlet. That is right. For 25 points, another play called The Mousetrap has been running continuously in London's West End since 1952. Which famous mystery author wrote The Mousetrap? Agatha Christie. The only mystery author worth talking about, my favorite, Agatha Christie. For 50 points, the first guest to arrive at the country home in the mousetrap is described as a hyperactive young man whose parents named him after which famous British architect? Christopher Wren. You got 50 points. Here's your next toss-up question. On a weather map, isotherms connect places with what identical measure? Karthik. Temperature. Correct. For 25 points, isobars connect places with what other identical measurements? Pressure. And for 50 points, an isotac connects points with, ident with which identical measurement? Isotac. Isotac. Uh, wind speed? You got 50 points, too. Nice. <laughs> Here's your next toss-up. What series of radio broadcasts began in March 12, 1933 with a... Yes, Ashish. Fireside chats. Correct. For 25 points. Eight years later, Franklin Delano Roosevelt referred to December 7, 1941 as a date which will what? Live forever. In, live, in, live, in. live in infamy. That is right. For 50 points, name the university where FDR was editor of its newspaper, The Crimson. Harvard. You got 50 points. And here we go. And now we stop. Let's say hi to all our team members. First from Valley Christian, Andrew Rao. Um, you were involved in an ISS project for which you earned first place. Why don't you tell our audience what ISS is? Uh, so ISS stands for the International Space Station. And in our high school, we get in groups of about 10, and we uh, design small experiments to be sent up into the ISS. Yours got first place. Can you tell us in like five seconds what it what it it was? Oh, there was a microgravity uh, research conference in Pasadena, and we got first place in our age group. Fantastic. Congratulations. Omid Askari, you are a tennis player, and your team has just begun. How's that going for you? Uh, it's going pretty well. Um, practice has just started, and we're getting our team together, looking forward to a very How prosperous season. How long have you been season. doing this? Oh, I've um, been doing it since I was eight. Since you were eight? Oh, good for you. I took three lessons. <laughs> and then the... Um, the instructor has to be excused Got from those lessons. Somewhere. Yes, Ashish Prasad, you are a black belt in Taekwondo. Yes, I am. Please demonstrate this on Omid so that we can all see. <laughs> 
No. All right. Congratulations. That's very good. So you, do you use this as sort of a defense? I mean, you know, at Valley Christian, you maybe kind of rough in the halls. You kind of uh, just just for just for fun. Just for fun. Yeah. Black belt and taekwondo for fun. for for kind of you you focus too, right? Uh-huh. Helps you with your focus. Good. Let's say hi to Homestead and Brandon Heron. You are a big hiker. Oh yeah, yeah. So what was one of the most um, challenging hikes you've taken recently? Challenging hikes. We went on this uh, twenty mile long hike on Table Mountain and. We actually got chased by um, some animals at some point, so you know. Chased by animals? Yeah. Like Yeti or wolves Not or Yeti. Type? Cats? Lizards, actually. Lizards, yeah. okay. So Small, scary, lizards. Yeah. Small lizards. Small yeah. lizards oozing on the plateau. Okay, well, that must have been terrifying. William Scott, you volunteer for the National Honor Society, of which you are a member. What kind of work do you do? So this year, our main focus is on helping less fortunate people in our community. So we're doing things like collecting used clothing and uh, kitchen utensils that we can give to soup kitchens. Oh, that's fantastic. Good for you. Thank you, William. Karthik, you are an inveterate traveler. And um, what's the most recent trip you've taken? Well, actually, a few days ago, we went to Hawaii. A few days ago? A few days, yeah. You didn't call me? (laughs) <laughs> so what'd you do? Did you swim? Did you? Well, snorkeled some, hiked some. Um, we visited Pearl Harbor. Wow. And missed school some, or did you guys have an intersection? No, we had a break. Oh, good for you. Lucky you. <laughs> All right, you guys. Good luck. You guys are playing well. Let's see what happens when we give you your next toss-up. The traditional pattern of this type of dance consists of an entree, an adagio, a variation for each dancer, and a coda. What's the... <laughs> Yes, William. Uh, pas de deux. That is right. Yes. And instead of asking more questions, why don't you and Brandon do a pas de deux? In f- <laughs> I no, don't okay. think I'm qualified for this. <laughs> 25 points. The dance of the sugar plum fairy is a pas de deux from which Tchaikovsky ballet? The Nutcracker. The Nutcracker. That is right. And for 50 points, the title character of which other Tchaikovsky ballet is cursed by a witch and revived by Prince Desiree? Oh, wait. Is it? Is it? Is it? Swan Lake. Mm-hmm. The title character just guess anything. William. Swan Lake. It's Sleeping Beauty. Beautiful music. Next toss-up. It was dramatized in Shakespeare's Henry V. The English longbow (laughs) shot down Omid. Um, The Battle of Agincourt? That is right. For 25 points, the Battle of Agincourt was part of what series of battles that lasted from 1337 to 1453? Hundred Years' War. And that's not right at all. That's not 100 years. Let's stop and think about that. For 50 points, the 100 Years' War was fought between two houses contending for the throne of what country? France, right? Wait, no, it was France against England. Of what country? France. That's 50 points for you. Here's your next toss-up. In Chinese folk religion, the ruler of heaven is an emperor named for this material. Omi. Jade. Right. For 25 points, the largest statue carved from a single block of jade is a statue of Mahavira in which country's Andhra Pradesh state? India. Yes. And for 50 points, in this culture, jade beads were placed in the mouths of the dead to pay the soul's passage to the underworld of Shibalba. Omi? Jainism? It was the Mayans. Oh, oh. Next toss-up. In 1935, she joined the faculty of Purdue University's Department of Aeronautics. Which aviatrix disappeared just two... Yes, Karthik. Amelia Earhart. Right, for 25 points. The day before she disappeared, Earhart and her navigator took off from the airport at Leh on what island north of Australia? Papua New Guinea. That is right. For 50 points, when Earhart disappeared, she was attempting to locate what island in the Central Pacific? Tahiti? Howland Island. Okay. Next toss-up. It features a flask of acid that will be smashed if a radioactive atom... Yes, William. Schrodinger's cat. Correct. For 25 points, which standard formulation of quantum mechanics predicts wave function collapse when the cat is observed? Wait, what's the Copenhagen interpretation? Okay, said. So Copenhagen interpretation? That is right. For 50 points, who developed the Copenhagen interpretation and formulated a namesake uncertainty principle? Oh, Heisenberg. You got 50 points. And we're very close. 175 for Valley Christian, 150 for Homestead. Who will win this match? Let's find out in just a minute. We are back, and we've brought our coaches up on the stage to celebrate all they've done for their teams. First, from Valley Christian, Mr. Ryan Carruthers. 
time from Homestead, Ms. Susan Wilson. Thank you, coaches, so much. All right, gentlemen, you've been playing really well. We have three categories here. The clue value is 30 points. Uh, Homestead, you will choose first. You only need one clue to get ahead. Try and get all seven right so that Valley Christian has to work hard to win the game. The categories today are A in biology, in our stars, and Veep Veep. Veep Veep. Veep Veep. I'm going to name a vice president. You tell me how old is his pa No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you tell me which president did this vice president serve under, okay? Al Gore. Bill Clinton. That's right. Richard Nixon. Dwight D. Eisenhower. Right. Aaron Burr. Thomas Jefferson. Correct. Theodore Roosevelt. William McKinley. Right. Hannibal Hamlin. Abraham Lincoln. Correct. George Dallas. Harry S. Truman. It was James K. Polk. Oh, okay. And finally, John Adams. George Washington. You got six of them right, 330. Good for you. <laughs> Valley Christian, you do need six correct answers to win the game. Will you choose A in biology or in our stars? A in biology. A in biology. OK, I'm going to sing. No, I'm not going to sing. I promise. All right. What biology term, beginning with A, describes this answer, okay? I could sing it if you would like. All right. Bacteria that do not require oxygen. Anaerobic. Yes. A disease causing inflammation and constriction of the airways. Anaphylaxis. Asthma. Oh. <laughs> I think you need to get all the rest correct, right? Endocrine glands atop of the kidneys. Adrenal. Right. Flowering plants that bear seeds in ovaries. Angiosperms. Right. The second to last phase of mitosis. Anaphase. Right. Different forms of a gene. Alleles. Yes. If you get this one correct, you win the game. The division of the nervous system with a sympathetic subdivision. Autonomic. You win the game. Congratulations. <laughs> Both teams played so well. Thank you so much. I'm sure we'll see you in the future, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.